If you've seen the trailer for Us, Jordan Peele's follow-up to Get Out, then you probably noticed a familiar face or two in the mix, particularly the family's matriarch, Adelaide. In case you didn't know, the name of the actress playing her is Lupita Nyong'o, and there's good reason she looks so familiar. Like so many big-screen successes before her, Lupita Nyong'o actually got her big break in television. After appearing in a couple of short films such as The Roadside, she was cast in the MTV Africa production Suga, a daring and explicit series set in Kenya and designed to promote safe sex, awareness, and tolerance. Suga has yet to air in the United States, but some people in Hollywood saw it, and it turned out that was all she needed. In 2013, America was finally introduced to Nyong'o, and it was worth the wait. Working alongside acting heavyweights like Michael Fassbender, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and Sarah Paulson, Nyong'o made her big-screen debut in 12 Years a Slave as the tragically tormented Patsy. The performance earned raves from critics and audiences alike, culminating in Nyong'o taking home the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. After winning the Oscar for 12 Years a Slave, Nyong'o was instantly catapulted to worldwide stardom. But her next big role wasn't in acting at all. It was as the face of the French luxury cosmetics and perfume company Lancome, who signed Nyong'o in 2014. In the years since, she's helped propel the brand to new heights while becoming a global fashion icon. Unfortunately, Nyong'o's first big screen venture after 12 Years a Slave was less than memorable. A pulpy, action-packed thriller, 2014's Non-Stop starred Liam Neeson as a dude with a particular set of skills, only this time on an airplane. It's a bombastic, often baffling piece of work that makes little use of its talented cast. That includes Nyong'o, whose brief turn as a flight attendant in transit barely registers among all the action movie bluster. Unlike many actors, Lupita Nyong'o did not first discover her passion for performing in theater. Instead, she began as a production assistant on films, including The Constant Gardener, where she says she learned a lot from working with star Rafe Fiennes. That experience convinced her to give acting a serious go, and in 2009, she enrolled in the Yale School of Drama, where she got her first stage work. In 2015, she finally got the chance to take the theater world by storm when she appeared in the Broadway play Eclipsed. Written by Nyong'o's future Black Panther co-star, Danai Guerrera, Eclipsed made history by becoming the first play to premiere on Broadway with an all-black, all-female cast and creative team. It also earned Nyong'o a well-deserved Tony nomination for Best Actress, which she felt wasn't just for her, but for all women of color. We are being heard, we're being appreciated, and we're being celebrated, which is really, really amazing. Just as its title implied, Nonstop couldn't stop Nyong'o's ascendance. At the end of 2015, she had a small but key role in the biggest domestic box office hit in history, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Don't remember seeing her? That's because you didn't. Nyong'o actually did motion capture and voice work to bring the CGI character Maz Kanata to life, helping make the mysterious tavern owner one of the more intriguing new faces in the current Star Wars trilogy. Directed by Mira Nair and based on an article from ESPN the magazine, 2016's Queen of Catway tells the uplifting story of a 10-year-old girl from a Ugandan slum whose life changes dramatically upon discovering the game of chess. Nyong'o is at the center of the heartwarming drama, helping to soften the film's edges with a warm, grounded performance as the young girl's loving mother. Though the film wasn't a mainstream hit, it garnered acclaim from critics, with Nyong'o again singled out for her performance. So how does Nyong'o relax when she's not making movies? By becoming a music icon as well. Considering she got her start on MTV, it makes sense. Way back in 2009, she was actually nominated for an MTV Africa Music Award for directing the music video for fellow Kenyan Wahoo's song, The Little Things You Do. In 2016, she showed her love for music by appearing opposite Regina Hall in a particularly epic episode of Lip Sync Battle. And in 2017, she starred in the music video for Many Faced God, a collaboration between James Blake and hip-hop mogul Jay-Z. One of the biggest films in recent memory, both in terms of box office success and cultural impact, was 2018's Black Panther. Many critics and fans have praised the film for its depiction of powerful women, and at the forefront was Nyong'o as the warrior Nakia. The film also represented a unique moment in Nyong'o's career, bringing together past, present, and future collaborators. Not only did she reunite with fellow Star Wars CGI co-star Andy Serkis and her Broadway playwright Danai Guerrera, it also teamed her up with future Us co-star Winston Duke. With such talent, grace, and commitment, is it any wonder that even superheroes are awestruck in her presence? Nakia. Hi. Did he freeze? 
an antelope in headlights. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.